everyone this is Sandy welcome to my channel um, I like to present to you my final installment of the build your stash collaboration hosted by Mandy's place the collaboration has um, is officially over and we are now going to swap the things that we uh, used that we created to build our stash and we're going to swap out with um, our swap partners that were already selected for us. Um, I am swapping with um, Thelma's Creations. Hi Thelma. And hopefully you're not watching Thelma but if you are this is not going to be a surprise when you receive it so if you want it to be a surprise then you don't want to watch this video for my final episode of the collaboration this is the final week five i'm going to show you what i am swapping with my swap partner so here's how i packaged it it's already packaged up and ready to go drop it in the mail next week I created a little tote bag with a die I recently purchased um, actually it's from Aliexpress and I just embellished it with some little bling gems I got from Walmart and this paper um, this is an electronic download from Etsy shop. It's coach paper, our coach designer like paper. And so I covered a mini composition book and added one of my favorite cutouts that I colored. This little girl. And I just made some homemade shred to put in there. And it has a little mini pen to go along with it. Um, I created a card for her. And I just used this little blue dot. Oh, this little dot to hold it and place it like that. And the envelope. And here's a little card that I made using um, some of my handmade camera embellishments. I use the same bling throughout and it says smile and then I have a little greeting on the inside for her so these all go together also created a little tassel with this end cap I got these from Aliexpress and these I have a bunch of these ball and chain closures here. I think I got purchased these from um, um, Amazon uh, a couple years ago. I have a bunch. So here's her little uh, flip book. It has a belly band. and This is supposed to be a belt buckle. <laughs> I don't know how much it resembles a belt buckle but that was my attempt at making a belt buckle. And um, this has a little hinge system. The pockets actually came from a Dollar Tree photo album. I just cut them. Oh, pulled them out of a photo album and trimmed them up to use here. And um, here was the first, one of the first, or one of my build your stash embellishment I created was these ro roller skates. So there, it's in an envelope and inside the envelope I put the other skate okay so she gets a pair of skates she so can use to embellish her cards or whatever and it's just held on with a temporary um, blue dot so it can be pulled right off and reused I thought this was the most practical way to put this together to ship it. Um, here's the embellished 
mini file folders. Mm -hmm. And here's another little camera I use to embellish a matchbook cover. And inside the matchbook cover, I included some sequins, a sequin mix right there. Okay. She can always reuse this packaging or whatever she likes. Yeah, because the stamp is actually on the matchbook cover and not the bag. So she can reuse that. Chooses to. Okay, let me get this back in here. Okay. The ribbon doesn't want to go. Fussy, fussy, fussy. Okay. Um, these were the hidden paper clips. Yeah. These are actual paper clips, and the paper clip is behind it, so it's hidden. A little tote bag and a typewriter. And these are hidden paper clips here made with some shaker stickers from the Dollar Tree. Um, they actually are paper clips. Okay. Um, and they package, and you can reuse that package. You can cover that sticker up my name on it and use it um this was a little this wasn't a part of all of these were a part of the these were part of the the builder stash collab and this one was from another builder stash i think i was doing it wasn't a builder stash it was happy mail so she's from a happy mail where I was using whatever I created, I always create one, so I'll, more than once, so I always build my stash. That's just my my uh, habit. So I guess the build your stash collaboration was uh, a natural for me. I'm just showing what I normally would do, but she's actually a die cut um, from AliExpress that was pieced. And I packed this up. This is actually a gift tag, and it's on. Um, I think I made it on some kind of chipboard. It's probably a cereal box that I covered. I like because they make them real firm. This paper right here, this denim patchwork, came from the Dollar Tree. They had those uh, paper pads there, denim paper pad, and I really like it. I used it. I'm also including some die cuts ice cream cones I made a few of these for another swap I was in so like I said I always create more so I have extra so I'm going to share these with her and the last thing I have in this pocket is going to be a surprise so I'm not going to bother to share it just in case Thelma's watching but here's another special treat just for her in here and I hope she likes it so here's my little flip book. I got this idea from watching a Lori Nuna Maker video where she did a flip book. Um, and she used envelopes and this hinge system. So I borrowed the hinge. I used, uh, <laughs> recreated the hinge system, but instead I used, like I said, these um, pages from the Dollar Tree photo albums. And they make great little pockets. So, this is what I'm sending off to my swap partner, Thelma's Creations. Um, I can't wait to get what she's created for me because she made some really cute things that I'm sure I can use to create other beautiful things. But anyway, I'm going to repackage these up and get them sent out. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Blessings. Bye-bye.